Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 598 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. Currently, we are on an extended multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book called The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount from reading and rereading this book on my own trek of life, and I trust that you'll benefit from it also. Keeping in continuity with Wisdom Trek, I have adapted it to The Five Trails on Life's Trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. The weather has been somewhat cooler than normal for our spring day in May, but the additional rain that we have received will certainly allow everything to grow rapidly. Our granddaughter, Hazel, continues to do well. She is on a strong dose of steroids in addition to her chemo, so she desires to eat often, and the steroids are making her swell up a bit. She is also starting to lose her flaming red hair that has come to symbolize her. Elizabeth did cut off the flowing curly locks of her hair shortly after she was diagnosed with leukemia, so she does have those preserved. It will be interesting to see if it grows back the same color or some other color. The attending physician indicated that it may grow back a different color and even a different texture. We continue to adjust to a schedule that is neither normal nor consistent, but we realize that we have to live our life based on the axiom that I have repeated many times. We must deal with life as it is, not what we hoped it to be. We must let go of life as we have planned it, so as to accept the life that God has planned for us. As we continue today on our fifth trail, which is the Trail of Lifestyle, We will explore how to be happy and joyful with the lifestyle that you currently have while you strive for the lifestyle that you are creating. If you missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them to get caught up on our progress so far. We do have a lot of ground to cover today, so let's break camp and begin our fifth trail of this extended trek as we cover the five trails on Life's Trek, Lifestyle Part 4. As a reminder, our overall extended trek covers these five trails. Philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and now lifestyle. The first area we want to look at today is what we must enjoy today while preparing for a better life tomorrow. Although you may not be able to control every situation that comes into your life, you can choose to design your own life of joy and happiness. You can choose to enjoy every experience of your lifestyle. You don't have to wait for your life to get better to enjoy your life. If you choose not to enjoy your life today, then waiting will merely prolong the agony of putting up with poor service, short-tempered, ruined moments of joy, and a continuation of life as it's always been. The beautiful feeling of joy, peace, and happiness can begin wherever you are because it has nothing to do with having more things, but how you view what you currently have. Obtaining more material things isn't the answer to happiness. If you can count your blessings on only two or three fingers, then putting diamonds on those same fingers isn't going to give you more joy, peace, happiness, or blessings. If you have failed to develop meaningful relationships and friendships when your resources are meager, then you aren't going to be any better at finding and keeping good friends when your finances improve. The experience of a meaningful relationship with someone who has been with you through the good times and the bad, who knows you and cares for you in a way that makes you feel good just to know that you are in this world, is something that you just cannot afford to postpone. None of us know when our work for God will cease on this earth, so it is imperative to learn to enjoy your life and your lifestyle today with what you currently have while you're working toward a lifestyle that you desire. As Jesus' half-brother James tells us in his letter, James chapter 4, verse 14, How do you know what your life will be like tomorrow? Your life is like the morning fog. It is here a little while, then it's gone. There is as much joy watching our children learn to ride a second-hand bicycle as watching them wobble away on a brand new one. Are you going to deny them or yourself the incredible experience simply because you can't afford the best or the most expensive toys right now? Joy and happiness aren't something you can withdraw from your bank account. It is something to withdraw from your life and from those around you. There is nothing wrong with wanting more for yourself or for your family. It doesn't mean that you have to experience less of life's treasure because you have less, or that you will even appreciate more when you have more. If you cannot learn to have joy and happiness with what you have right now, then you will never have joy or be happy, no matter how much good fortune comes your way. The second area we want to focus on today is, wherever you are, be there. One of the major reasons that you may fail to find joy and happiness, or to create a unique lifestyle, is because you have never mastered the art of being present where you currently are. While you are at home, are your thoughts still absorbed with solving the challenges that you face at your office or work? 
When you are at your office, do you find yourself worrying about the problems at home? Do you go through the day without really listening to what others are saying to you? You may be hearing their words, but you aren't absorbing the message. As you go through the day, do you find yourself focusing on past experiences or future possibilities? Are you so involved with yesterday and tomorrow that you never notice that today is slipping by? There's certainly a place for learning from the past and for planning for the future, but do you just plow through today rather than harvesting something from this day? Are you everywhere at any given moment of time except living in that moment of time? Lifestyle is learning to be wherever you are. It is developing a unique focus on the current moment and drawing from it all the substance and wealth of that experience and the emotions that it has to offer. Lifestyle is taking the time to watch a sunset. Lifestyle is listening to silence. Lifestyle is capturing each moment so that it becomes a new part of who you are and what you are in the process of becoming. Lifestyle is not something that you do, it is something that you experience. Until you learn to be present in the moment, you will never master the art of living well. As the Apostle Paul reminds us in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 15 through 17, So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these evil days. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. We are deliberately taking our trek slowly on these five trails on Life's Trek as we continue to hike today on the Trail of Lifestyle. Today we learn that you must be happy with what you currently have while striving to obtain what you desire. We also learn that to enjoy life today, you must live in today. Next Philosophy Friday, we will finish on our fifth trail, the Trail of Lifestyle, as we dig into the concepts of letting life really touch us. So join us next Friday for these additional insights. I know that you'll find these insights interesting and profitable in living your rich and satisfying life. Our next track will be on Monday as we continue on our series called The Tools in Gramps' Backpack, where we will equip you with the tools needed to impact the lives of others. So I encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read their associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend. As I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal, and as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.